Okay, welcome to the Pico CTF Mini 2022. Uh, we're going to go through the challenges here. There's also a, a Flash game, or I guess it's a Unity game, uh, which sort of teaches you a little bit about programming and ASCII codes. But we're going to just go through these challenges. We'll start here with runme.py. It says run, run me to get the flag. Download the script to your browser or with wget in the web shell. So if we have Python, we can run it here, or we can do it in the web shell. So let's just do it in the web shell. We have a link here, copy that. Okay, so wget. That's python runme.py. All right, so pico ctf run sanity run. Copy. Great, one down. Netcat me. So Netcat is a tool for connecting to a particular port on a remote computer. So we're going to connect to port 52194 at saturn.picoctf.net. So netcat, saturn.picoctf.net, 52194. And there we go, sanity cats, our flag. Okay, let's see, close that up. Convert me.py, run the Python script and convert the given number from decimal to binary to get the flag. Okay, so that's just telling me how to do this wget again. So if 48 is in decimal base, what is it in binary base? Well, that's 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. And there's my flag. So in binary, we've got the 1's place, the 2's place, the 4's place, the 8's place, the 16's place, and 32 place. So 32 plus 16 is 48. And there's my flag, all your bases. Okay, codebook. Run the Python script code.py in the same directory as codebook.txt. Right, so let's get both of those things. Python code.py and and there it is. So, so presumably what happened here was it took this and did some conversions on it. And you can see there there's some code that operates on an encrypted flag and <coughs> exhorts it with that file. Okay, so there's our flag codebook. All right, fix me one dot py. Fix the syntax error. Let's get a little more challenging. All right, so it says that there's an unexpected indent on line 20. So I'm going to use nano, which is an editor. Fix me one dot py. All right, so in Python, white space matters. So you see this line is indented. But it's not part of a loop. So if I get rid of that indentation, I will get my flag. Indentity crisis. So that's clever. Indentity because of the indentation.
All right, let's see, we got fix me too. Fix the syntax error. See what's wrong with this one. All right, so now we have invalid syntax on line 22. So here we're testing equality. Now in Python, when you want to test equality, you need to do that with double equals, not a single equals. And there's my flag, equality, not assignment, right? So a single equals operator is the assignment operator in Python, and double equals is when we want to test if two values are equal to each other. All right, pwcrack1, can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the password checker here. Okay, and encrypted flag in the same directory too. Enter the correct password for the flag. Password is incorrect. Well, let's see what we got here. Oh, well, if we just look through this file, it says if the user password is 60AB. So, 60AB. All right. There's my flag. see glitch all right let's see what we got going on here so we're going to netcat again to saturn.picoctf.net port 53639 okay and it looks like it's giving us some uh, python code so let's copy that Let's just say Python. We'll splat that in there. And there's my answer, Pico CTF, glitch me not. Okay, let's see. Password crack two. You crack the password to get the flag. All right. Use control D to get out of the Python there. So we're going to get level two. And once a password again, use control C to stop that running program. All right, so now it's saying if the user password is 33 plus 39 plus 63 plus 65. So Let's look at an ASCII table. So 33 is 3, 39 is 9, so 3, 9, 63, 65, 3, 9, C, E, 3, 9, C, E, okay. 39CE. Welcome back, Trash Singing. We'll copy that. All right, hashing job app. If you want to hash with the best, beat this test. Okay. So netcat saturn .ctf net 51108. Please ME5 hash the text between quotes, excluding the quote. So it wants the ME5 hash of computers. Okay. Now let's see, MD5 hash. 
Flash Online. Computers. So there's my MD5 hash. Correct. All right, now I have to do carnival workers. Carnival workers. Don't want any extra spaces there at the end. A cheap motel. Let me get bored soon. Hopefully this isn't going to be too many of these. Correct, application received. Copy, paste. All right, find the flag in the Python script. Let's see what we have here. You can do it, keep it up, look how far you've come. So prints an encouragement. Prints this serpentine. So we can print an encouragement, we can print a flag. Oops, I must have misplaced the print flag function. Check my source code. So really it looks like I just need to get it to call print flag. So I'll modify this code. And say print flag. Print flag. Print flag. There you go. Because CTF, the road less traveled. Password crack three. Can you crack the password to get the flag? Download the password checker here. You'll need the encrypted flag and the hash in the same directory too. There are seven potential passwords. One is correct. You can find these by examining the password checker script. Okay, so it looks like this is a binary. So it's suggesting we use BBI, which is binary BI. To get that, so we'll grab that level three copy link, delete it, paste, copy link, delete it. All right. Using the correct password. So user password hash is correct password hash, which comes from level three dot hash dot bin. Okay. Just using BBI. Oops. Oh, I see. So it's got a bunch of spaces, some non-printable characters. Ah, so we have to hash the user password and have it match that. Okay, so and here are the seven possibilities. Only one is correct. It's doing MD5, so we can 80F4. That's 2029ACF. Twenty twenty nine ACF. So that's probably the right one. I got lucky on the first try. 
So my first one was 80F4. There you go. Your CTF mesh flinging. Copy. All right, two more to go. I'll take a pause here and come back for the next video.